about the upcoming season? There is going to be a lot of action and a lot of adventure. We're going to go deeper into the character stuff. I mean, I think that's what we're really very excited about doing. We have a big season. We have a 24, 25, 24 and a half episode season. And I think, you know, what I was, you know, the one thing that we love about this show is that we do get these amazing adventures and we have all this great fun, but these guys are incredible character actors and we can give them such, such deep, moving material to do that really goes into who they are as people and how they interact with one another. That, I think, is what you're going to see a lot of this season. It's a lot, you know, a lot of that kind of development as we go forward. And we really are a tight unit. We really, we really are. You can see it, you can feel it. These relationships are getting deeper and deeper. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. These kids are great. Well, I really love the finale. You know, um, yeah. Especially with Gallo and Walter. Um, yeah. And exploring that relationship you guys had to work through some stuff I mean, yeah. how was that for you to play? It was a wonderful experience all last season was great the whole the whole art storyline of that can we ever resolve it will he ever trust me again God I hope he knows that I would never do anything to hurt him you know that whole thing and uh, it was such a great resolution at the end and just to really really put it out on the line I'll, do, I'll jump in front of a train for you I'll do whatever I can to save you you know what I mean? And uh, it, it meant a lot to me. It was it was a great journey. So does that mean um, with Gallo and Walter next season, you kind of like work your stuff out? So you're well, not I, dealing with that. Yeah, much? I don't want to give away it too much because that's part of what we're filming right now. But you're going to see, you know, uh, how they are after that, and it's new and it's fun. And I'm kind of waiting to see what they're going to kind of create for us. We're going to have some new things to deal with. What's it going to be like now that we're we're okay again, you know. It, it's it's been a while, so uh, it's it's interesting. But your character is also no longer a homeland. That's an interesting thing that we're going to deal with as well. Yeah, <laughs> well, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. I'm not saying anything. I don't. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Talking to panel about uh, Walter and Keith's relationship and how emotional that was to see his father. So, was there uh, kind of a defining episode or kind of scene that you really latched onto from this past season that maybe really got to you or was stand out in your mind? Oh my gosh. Well, Elias is a lovable guy. And I, I actually, I, when we shot the pilot, I really. He was he just endeared himself to me, and I, I, I really was fond of him from the get go. And then watching him as an actor and as a you know an individual deal with the challenges of making a show and being the lead on a show and seeing that struggle and that process, and there's a lot to it, you know. Uh, even if he endeared himself to me even more, so I really do care for him. I really do love him, and I hope that translates, you know. To the screen, uh, and the fun thing for Cave has been learning these other guys, and that's a whole new area they're going to start going because they're all growing up, and I'm becoming fond of each and every one of them. So, uh, just, just great role. I would say that's another thing that we're going to be doing more of this year is really is is bringing these guys, you know, partnering on certain cases. They'll be partnering up in ways that you didn't see last year. There's a big, there's a, a big. Uh, in this 90-minute episode that we're doing, there's going to be cave and age apartment up to a, to an extent throughout throughout that while you know these others are off doing something incredibly dangerous, it's exciting. But it is. I mean, it's it's a great pairing. I think that we haven't seen before, and I think the more we can sort of see those those are interesting things because it brings out more of each of their characters in ways that we really haven't seen much before, and something that's very new for the for the season for the show. So it's, it's going to be great. No, no, no. The premiere, it's, the premiere is going to be it's going to be sixty. The uh, after the Supergirl premiere on October twenty sixth ish uh, at eight thirty. It, it, at at uh, that's when that's when we have an hour. We have a ninety minute episode after the Supergirl premiere. Uh, I think they're going until nine thirty, and then we go till eleven. So put it out. There. Tell everyone you know to reset their DVRs. Yeah, reset. Them. Reset your DVR. Well, the, the actor's point of view, we're already aware of that, and we're already, we've already shown up, and I can tell you, Monday, we hit the ground running. I, I kind of got there, was, I know myself, I like to keep working, and I felt like I might be a little rusty, but 
everybody I saw kind of showed up, had their game going, and we hit it right away. And we're all aware that we've got to go even further. We've got to kick it up even better. We got to, we got to, we got to make it even. We got to do much more work than we did in the first season. And we really did work our asses off. So we're all game. And I think everybody's incredibly grateful for our success and knows what it means. And we don't, we don't want to do anything to jeopardize it. We want to keep working hard. Yeah. That's us. Yeah, I know, and, and I think we're the same way. And I think that what we really. You know, once you, we, we put it out there and, and it got such a great response, the fan response is so, it's so wonderful, and we are so grateful for it. And it's like, what do you know? What do you do for a second season? And it's and for us, it's like they love these characters. Let's do more with these characters. Let's see where these characters go. And you know, the thing I think that people absolutely you know really like it's like you have these incredible adventures, but what's that last moment at the end that twists you and makes you go? Ooh. You know, and I think we have a lot more of that this year because we know these people better. We know we know these characters better. We see their development, and you know, there's two sides to every one of these episodes. It's like they're brilliant. They're brilliant as problem solvers, and then they're you know completely unbrilliant, you know, socially and interpersonally, and they're so bad at that that. There's infinite ways to go, kind of, with both. It's like, if they can be bad at something, they're bad over here, but they're great over here. And that's that's where we, where we're, where we're going to pursue both of those in much further directions. You have um, sort of budding relationships with Walter and Paige and Happy and Toby and his, um, uh, Sylvester and Megan or whatever. I mean, can you tease anything about how you're going to deal with all of that? They will all, they're all up on their feet, and they are all going to be, there's going to be development in every single one of those relationships. Some shocking to you. Some, and, and then, you know, it, this is a relationship. How does somebody, how does the brilliant sort of reserved, pulled back, sort of antisocial mind deal with love? That is something that we're, you know, we're going to be you know, pursuing the entire season through, for, on, on all those levels. Because um, that's so much fun for So those, every single one of those is going to be definitely dumped in too, you know, for, for each one of these characters. So more, more wage, more winters. 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 Winters.